YT Dan Duel Links is brought to you by Dank Duelists Like You. Become a YouTube member to never miss. My boys, my friends, fellow duelists, and new random folk. Welcome back to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. And I want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this video. I know that I say this a lot but I mean, I do have the quote unquote attitude of gratitude and I do appreciate all the support, likes, subscribes, views, and everything else, memberships, donations, everything else that you guys have given me over this last month or last few weeks. It's been extremely uplifting to say the least. Um, I've been making an effort here to continue to make more great content for you guys and to continue to do live streams and although my week got tilted this week um you know hey it's it's got good kind of tilt you know your job comes through and they're like hey we need you you're valuable you, you're the only one that can do the thing and that's a good position to be in no matter what company you work at so i appreciate everybody coming through and their patience and everything and I just wanted to thank everybody for their love and support during this time because we all as, as all as all the corporate entities would say we are all in this together <laughs> but anyway i wanted to say also i want to shout out to my boy dylan Yu-Gi-Oh! everything from for actually doing a live stream of Yu-Gi-Oh! duel links for the first time that was actually pretty hype. I actually missed it because unfortunately your boy had to run some domestic chores, but uh, I definitely took a look at the VOD later on after, you know, he had finished the stream. So take a look at it on this channel if it's still up there. But yeah, it was, uh, it was a cool stream and I'm always glad to see people jump in and play some Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Also, I really like Dylan for Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything. He's like really cool, but also, Another thing, you guys are here for the URSR Dream Tickets. Now, we know that we've been blessed by these URSR Dream Tickets. Your state and local governments may have fallen apart during the outbreak of the C virus. You know, unemployment has been blocked up. You haven't been able to apply for unemployment. If you're a small business, those small business loans may have been gone. And uh, the uh, leaders of the parties that rule in the United States may have had their hand in the cookie jar in terms of uh, corporate benefits. But Konami is looking out with that real deal stimulus pack, my boy, with the UR and SR dream tickets. I am so sorry. <laughs> But yes, my boys, we're getting in there. Finally, URSR Dream Tickets is going to be pretty, uh, pretty spicy. I've been looking forward to this because I have a philosophy for UR Dream, URSR Dream Tickets, and I wanted to make sure we had them both so that you guys could get a full review of my thoughts on these cards. And I actually, I can actually go through the trouble of actually showing you guys, you know, what I would pick and maybe what you might pick. So we're gonna go ahead and pick them up right now. We're gonna thank Obelisk the Tormentor for Konami blessing us with these tickets. And now let's jump right into it. Let's take a look and see what we got here. So I still have my original UR and SR Dream ticket from the other from last year. I have not used it yet, um, but definitely I should be getting in there with it. But the difference between these UR and SR Dream tickets, because I think they go all the way up to the Dark Side of Dimensions packs, and you shouldn't buy any cars that are obviously, um, that aren't, you know, that you can't get in an event or somewhere else or in some other tickets. But, oh, look, they actually have a little uh, uh, qualifier, so you can just hit boxes. So, yeah, we want to uh, go ahead and specify by boxes. We want to do it by release date and take a look at these cards now. There are a lot of cards in here to choose, and I know it's really hard for you to pick, um, but here's my suggestion number one. Suggestion number one, you should always pick a card to complete 
a playset. So what do I mean by that? You know, there's lots of cards that you don't necessarily need to play um, in in like teams of one, which for example is a good example is a card like Deep Sea Diva. You clearly need to play at least three divas, right? So that you can actually win with Deep Sea Diva, use Deep Sea Diva's effect because you need at least two. So if you got two, completing a play set and going to three is never a bad idea. Um, also in terms of maybe like one-off cards you can use, you know, you got cards like uh, glow up bulb and plague spreader zombie if you're more synchro focused. But me personally, looking at this, if you're taking a look at these recommendations, what are they recommending? Um, White Stone of Ancients, Drowning Mirror Force, Cosmic Cyclone, and also Magician's Navigation. Now, I do think that these are some excellent choices here, especially Magician's Navigation and Drowning Mirror Force. But if I was going to go for longevity, I would definitely go with Drowning Mirror Force. That's a really good choice for um, a UR because Drowning Mirror Force is just good with pretty much any deck. And with the rise of Neos and many other broken cards uh, in this game and also uh, monsters that can't be targeted or destroyed and many other effects, Drowning Mirror Force just gets around all of it. So I think my number one recommendation recommendation uh, for sure would be Drowning Mirror Force. Now for me, I do not have any Desperado Barrel Dragons because I never brought the structure deck. And I know that might sound crazy, but yeah, I just never ever bought into it. I never did. Um, but going through this, there isn't necessarily a lot of cards that I 100% need per se, but there are cards that I want. So one card that I want is Black Metal Dragon. I only have one of these. I think that's going to be um, a pretty uh, strong choice for me right now. And as I'm going through here, I really don't see anything else that I think will be a huge choice for me right now. I think this would be probably my best bet. But since I have play sets of most things and other things are at at least two, um, I'm not really worried about anything else. I would say this card might be the most important, especially as I'm going through. And I'm gonna just go through it one more time to review to make sure that I don't, you know, I'm, that I'm not missing anything. So I'm going through this, going through this, going through this. And you can clearly see that I have three of most cards. Now, the, you, there is an option for you to go in and uh, qualify it by saying, you know, show me all the three of, show me all the two of, show me all the one of. You can do that, but um, that's not what I did. <laughs> Spear Karibo is also a really good choice. And uh, I don't necessarily need a Spear Karibo at all because I have multiples of those. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and change it to um, the number owned. All right. So the number owned. Wow. You have a lot of Neos alias, right? You got seven Neos alias. All right. So starting off at the bottom, I do not have a great Maju Garzet which is kind of funny, uh, but yeah, don't got that. Oh, now actually this is another card that I think I would like, um, Doom Caliber Knight, but over, but Doom Caliber Knight over Black Metal Dragon, I definitely don't think I would do that. I'd probably be more liable to run um, the Black Metal Dragon. Uh, let's see, as we're going through here, Shuffle Reborn, nah, I'll skip that. Hardened Arm Dragon. Uh, I'll skip that too, actually. Uh, what else do we have in here? Um, yeah, there isn't too much of anything. And now that we're at three, so my options are pretty low. So honestly, for me, the choice is kind of clear. It's either going to be the Red Eyes Metal Dragon, because I'm going to complete a playset, or it's going to be... the doom caliber knight but you know what i think i'm gonna just go with the accelerator no nah, i'm playing <laughs> let's go with the black metal dragon but actually i don't need the black metal dragon because i can obtain the black metal dragon 
on my other SR ticket, actually. I do have the Black Metal Dragon available, so I'm going to go ahead and get it with my UR ticket from the old one and collect this Black Metal Dragon. And then now I'm, now I'm going to use my new uh, third anniversary ticket to pick up another copy of the Black Metal Dragon. And now I'll have a full playset. So now I'm going to go ahead and complete this playset by picking up another uh, Black Metal Dragon. And now my playset is now complete. So now I have three black metal dragons and let's go ahead and see what I can pick up for my SR. Now starting off with this SR, you know, same thing, you know, you're going to look at the cards you have. You're either going to complete this playset or pick up a staple, uh, which is, or pick up something that can power up a themed deck. And as I'm looking through this right now, now through the release date qualified for the boxes, um, there are a few good cards. So here's a really good card keeper of the dragon magic. If you don't have this at three, um, I definitely recommend you pick up and complete a play set there. Um, as I'm looking through here, what else is pretty good? Um, if you're, if you want to get into Christrons, you got Smiger, you got Citri, uh, definitely a really good choice. And as I'm looking through here, I don't really see too much of anything. Uh, that I would actually pick up that I don't already have. And as we're going down, we're starting to get into the territory uh, of cards that have been out for a really long time. So yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna hold on to it rather than foolishly spend it on something like this because I already, uh, you know, the Palace of the Elemental Lords, this is actually a pretty good choice, but honestly, I don't like to play the Invoked or Element Saber, so yeah, it's uh for me, I'm just gonna have to hold on to the SR ticket boys. There's nothing for me to spend it on right now. And uh yeah, I mean so in the at, in the end, I would say your best way to go, of course, is to pick that UR or that SR to complete that playset, or pick the UR or the SR to complete your deck or get a staple. And honestly, something like Wall of D, something like uh, Drowning Mirror Force, something like Treasure's Trap are always good choices. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate y'all coming in and check it out. And as always, my boys. Keep it. We'll be running with yeah. the lions, lions.